Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson IV here, bringing you guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and also welcome to the off season of season four. Season four ended up in a good note, guys. You guys missed out on the Super Bowl game. Make sure you go back into my videos and watch the Super Bowl game. It was just total dominance by my defense. My defense just was two beasts. Our biggest steal of season four, Morgan Burnett forced a fumble and it was recovered by Halodi Nada, and he took it like for over 20 yards for a touchdown. That was just that was just too OP, man. My, my defense was just too OP. They were just dominating every single game they played on season four. And that's what was that was like one of the biggest things on season four, my defense. While my offense over here, they were like sleepers. They weren't at that big of an impact. But um, I believe with our replacement of season five, they are going to be a big impact. And I believe we're going to be doing a lot more passing and a lot more running this season compared to the previous season. Because on season three, there was it was mostly offense. Doug Martin committed like over 90 plus yards per game, and uh, along with Marshall Lynch, it will be a com combination of 120 yards per game, which is pretty good. But season four was just dead. There was no running game, so there's gotta be some few replacements going on here in offense. So let me show you guys who's gonna be replaced, who's gonna go, who's gonna, who's gonna stay. Our offensive lineman. Let's start off with the offensive lineman. Brandon Fusco and Dwayne Brown are actually gonna be replaced. The left tackle, Dwayne Brown will be replaced by the left tackle from the Dallas Cowboys. This is like an around 90 version of the left tackle, uh, that guy named, um, what's his freaking name? The left tackle, the freaking left tackle from the Dallas Cowboys. That guy, he's going to go like for around 20000 to 40000 He's an elite, and he's super cheap. I'm like, damn, this guy's going to be a hell of a pickup. So the left tackle, he's going to go. The right guard, Brandon Fusco, he's going to be replaced by the right guard from the Chicago Bears. There's a guy named Kyle Long, and that guy has like around 90 overall, and he has a lot of impact blocking, a lot of good amount of run blocking and pass blocking. So that guy's like total average stout. So I believe that right guard from the from the Chicago Bears will be a good addition here in my offensive lineman. Now to our main targets, the tight end is actually gonna stay how it is. Mercedes Lewis and J Jason Morrow will be our main guys for the tight end position. These guys are just tremendous. So I believe this, these two guys are gonna be a great duel. They really are. So. They really did show it on the, on the uh, Super Bowl because Mercedes Lewis barely played on Super Bowl and um, he did a hell of a block and some run out of a single back and uh, you guys might want to go back in the Super Bowl game and watch that because he actually was did participate in a few plays and he was a good blocker. So moving on to the main targets, the running backs, receivers, and quarterback. Who's going to be replaced? The quarterback is actually going to be replaced first if I ever get over 90,000 coins. And let me show you guys why. Derek Carr, even though he's like five games in and he did good, still, he is not my final stop at the quarterback position. So let me show you guys who's going to be replacing Derek Carr. And this will surprise everyone who's watching this video. It's going to surprise everyone. It would even surprise me. I was like, what the fuck? This will be like the biggest deal of season five. So let me show you guys. At the quarterback position... Not any, none of these will actually replace Derek Carr. None of these. Actually, Ryan Tannehill will, but he costs way too much. He's overpriced for his freaking overall. So anyways, the quarterback that will be replacing Derek Carr will be Troy Aikman. Look at this shit. Why is he going there for 45,000 coins? Why is he so cheap? Can somebody explain to me... In the comment section, why is Troy Eggman so cheap? 95 overall version, Thanksgiving edition. Why is he so cheap? Why? I don't get it. Look at this. Let me, let me, let me compare this guy to uh, Derek Carr. Look at this. He has a lot of accuracy. Derek Carr. Let me see. Where can you see the stats? Well, you guys can see it in the middle. At the middle, the TAS means throwing at short accuracy, 97 overall. He's never going to miss the passes, man. 94 overall for the throwing at mid accuracy, 92 overall for the throwing at deep accuracy, and 96 play action. That's like my dream quarterback right there for my offense. It really is. I mean, if you guys have seen some of my offensive plays, it requires some play action. It does require some pocket passes, but it mostly is play action and runs. So in order for my trickery to kind of go around in my offense, you know, some smooth scheme going on with the play action along with the run, I got to have a quarterback who's willing to do the play action. And Troy Eggman will do it the best. Look at this. 96 play action. The freaking defense from my opponents are going to be like tripping and shit. 
So I do do play actions out of uh, the I formations and single backs. Sometimes I'll be doing it off the shotguns starting off the season barely because I'm adding new plays into my offense. And also I will be rebuilding my offensive my offensive playbook and my defensive playbook in the future. So make sure you watch out for that video so you guys can start using my plays and my playbook. So anyways, yeah, Troy Aikman, he's the boss. Even though, even though this is the one major concern, guys, I know a lot of you guys are going to be questioning this. Even though I did say that I need a mobile mobile quarterback, Troy Aikman can still keep up. I mean, look at that, 78 speed and 80 acceleration. He's still good enough. I think he's really still good. So, because I did mention to you guys earlier, like around episode five or episode four, that I need, I just need a quarterback with over 78 speed and 80 acceleration, and there he is. That's Troy Aikman. So I believe he will be worth the pickup for season five, and the biggest deal also. I mean, he's 95 overall. I mean, come on, man. Like, how can you sell this guy for so cheap? If you guys are holding like around 50,000 coins, buy Troy Eggman. Buy him. Just fucking buy him. Don't even hesitate to buy him. Fucking buy him. <laughs> so, anyways, moving on to the next pickup, the running backs. Um, I think I will wait for another season to be re for for them to be replaced because they're actually doing okay. Doug Martin and Marshall Lynch, you know, they're, they're they're a great duel. For me, I think they really are a great duel. So they will stay for season five. If I do get like around 500,000 coins of the large quick sale, since I'm already like halfway again, um, I will be buying Jamal Charles or Levon Bell, and I'll show you guys who they are in the future once I get to that those amount of coins. Because I don't think I'll, I'll be buying them first. I'll be buying first Troy Eggman over here for 50,000 coins. So I might not have enough for the other two if I managed to get the large quick so and only get like 200,000 coins or something. I don't know. But yeah, they will be replaced like in season six. Our receivers, uh, one of the main receivers that's going to be actually be replaced will be Cordell Patterson. Now let me show you guys why Cordell Patterson will be the first one to be replaced off the receiver units. And maybe he's one of the fastest receivers out there. Except Devin Hester. Devin Hester is the fastest one though. But let me show you guys why. And no, I'm not going to buy Calvin Johnson, never. <laughs> Look at this shit. Why is he like for 5 million, man? He is the man. He is the fucking man. He's 6'6", six six, isn't he? 6'5". He's just insane, man. He's too insane for fucking hide. I bet he's supposed to be a basketball player or some shit. So the receiver that I'm picking up, guys, will be Eminem Sanders. Let me see where can I find a cheaper version of him. There he is. Eminem Sanders going for 44 Gs. He does have the right amount of speed to actually go into slot position. So, um, I don't know about you guys, but he's going to be replacing Cordell Patterson pretty soon. Even though I had Cordell Patterson season, season one, and he's been doing great still, I believe a guy who's faster than that guy, than Cordell Patterson, I believe he's going to be replacing him. I mean, look at this. Emono Sanders has more spectacular catch, more release, more road, uh, road running, and more catching traffic. So, it will be worth the pickup. Him and Troy Aikman are going to be boss if I have them both together, so... Even though he does have a little bit less than Grand uh, Pound, he still can, can you know, emerge off my team. So, um, so yeah. I believe he will be a great slot receiver. As for my starting receivers, Brandon Marsh and Damaris Thomas, if I ever get over, or as I told you guys before, on the uh, large quick, so if I get a lot of coins, the first buy will probably be Julio Jones or Andre Johnson. And, um, you know, that will be good pickups, but they do cost a lot. So, I don't know. Those are some dream pickups right there. Those are dreams. Like, once I get over 500,000 coins, these two guys will be on my team. So, yeah. But my main target is Simonol Sanders and Troy Aikman. Those are the two pickups that I'll probably do. Well, that will get that uh, if I got like over 100,000 coins. Because they're, they're both buyable. I mean, like under 50,000 coins. 100,000 coins worth of good offense right there. So that's it, guys. Those are my future offensive pickups, and hopefully these pickups will upgrade my running game and also allow Doug Martin to get back his 90-plus yards per game and, um, and stuff. So, and especially our quarterback position is going to be very upgraded by so much. I think that will be the biggest deal ever. I mean, Troy Aikman at 95 overall. God damn. Why is he so cheap? So that's it. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up, and tell me who should I pick up. I mean, what what's your list? Tell me your list. Who should I pick up and replace here in my offense so I can like probably think about it and uh, pick up those kinds of players. So that's it. See you guys later and subscribe for more Madden 15. <laughs>